We need to make the front suspension match the rear and the width. The plan to make this match the rear is I'm gonna pull these uh, shocks out and then I'm gonna cut these and I'm just gonna lengthen them and see what that gets me. The reason that it could be difficult right now is these aren't the front wheels that I'm planning to use. I'm planning to use the wheels that are over there and the bolt patterns don't match. So I'm kind of gonna be eyeballing the width while I wait on the spacers. So let's see what we can do. Are we using those shocks still? Yeah, the plan is to still use the shocks. Here's the problem is that instead of being very vertical, we'll be moved more horizontal. And the wheel is gonna end up having more leverage over the shock. I just don't wanna get any more metal dust inside this engine. It's already suffered enough. Okay, there's no turning back at this point. Oh boy. I don't know which side I you want to start it, on. Start on this side because that's the side I did first on that side. What are you thinking about? This is going to be really easy to extend because this is much smaller. I can just take my one inch tube and slide it over this and then weld whatever distance I want it to be at. This one's going to be more difficult because I think it is very close to one inch tube. Yeah, it's one inch. So that means I'd have to do a butt weld, which isn't anywhere near as strong. But I can just like, you know, gust it over top or whatever. And it needs to be reinforced anyway. I'm trying to figure out a way to possibly reuse the shock mount, this lower one. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to because I would need to cut it like right at the very end. And that's just not a smart area to cut. I need to cut like probably right here. So I'm gonna try to do this the correct way. <laughs> Perfect. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm struggling a little bit here because these aren't the wheels I'm going to use and I can't use the other wheels because I don't have the right bolt pattern right now. So I don't know where the new wheels will be located in distance to that. So making these A-arms is essentially impossible right now because I don't know where they're gonna fit. So I've just been eyeballing it to sit a little bit inward of the middle of that tire because the spaces we're gonna get is about an inch. That being said, for the A-arms to build them right now, what I cut them and now I'm attaching pieces of tube in between to set the distance between the inside point and the outside. And that way I can take it all apart, bring it all over to the table and build proper ones to the correct dimensions. What I've done so far is I marked out where the pivot point's gonna be and where it connects to where it connects to the spindle and I have them marked on the bench so that way we can bend up some tube and then when we get the tubes the way we want it, we can cut it out and weld it all together and that way the, we know what the dimensions are and exactly where they need to be placed. That's unbelievable. What? I did it, I split it in half by eye. Genius. that out of excellent job baby I mean, this is almost a perfect 90. i know that is not too shabby You're unbelievable. <laughs> Sometimes you're just that good, what can I say? That's actually crazy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's crazy, they're perfect. All right, so next comes the difficult part of actually cutting this all apart and welding it up strong enough and not looking like poo poo. So, start trying to figure that out, I guess. So, kind of have this where I want it. A piece hit me in the chin. Yeah, it's hot, right? Yeah, no kidding. Let's double check. 
stack. So it's following the path pretty good, but it's still clearly too long because it's pushing our piece out just fine because I'm going to notch it and then slowly work its way back. Now we'll shape the rest with the grinder. Sitting by the fire. While he's working over there. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, I know, right? It yeah. looks literally perfect. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than weld this on the table, to make sure that this point is aligned with that point, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this in the joint up there, I'll put this one in the joint up there, and then I'll bring these over and weld it up that way. It's exactly like you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot it wasn't welded. <laughs> that was so good. All right, let me tack it. Let me get the welder going. I didn't trust my jig that much, my Sharpie outlines on the table. Now I connected all the rear up, I can change my caster and toe and camber and everything. And that way I can just build this lower arm the, in the, into the exact position for this tire. So that way I don't need to stress it. 